To rotate your screen to work more fluidly within Photoshop, simply click R on the keyboard and then rotate the screen in any direction, zoom in and out depending on how you're working. To reset the screen, just click Reset View. To change the luminosity of your colours within an image, first create a black and white adjustment layer and as you can see the sliders adjust the luminosity in black and white. If you change the layer blending mode to luminosity, you will be able to adjust the luminosity of the colours within your image. To work with the same document in two windows so that you can see two different views, first go up to Window, go into Arrange a new window from the document, then go back into Window, Arrange and two up vertically in this case. Then you can choose what one you want to zoom in with and I will choose this one here and fit to screen 100%. Then move it into the area I want to work at and then bring in an image and you can see a live update uh, in the other screen as you are working. To change the background colour of a document, simply right click on the document and choose the working colour that you want to work with. You can also customise the colour and by selecting select custom colour, but be careful what colours you work with because every colour you're working with will affect the final outcome of your document. Zoom to full screen, press F on your keyboard twice. And if you want to change the custom colour in here as well, just right click again and choose your custom colour. A useful feature is the quick mask option, especially in large landscapes like this where I want the blend to be really subtle. First double click on the quick mask, choose your colour and then choose the brush and paint in the area. Now this provides a softer edge for your blends. Once you have painted in, Press Q in the keyboard and you will see the selection. I'm going to change the colour of this for this example. So let's change the hue saturation here just so that you can see how subtle the blend is. Then click OK. To select another area in your image, just press Q in the keyboard and paint. The colour that you've chosen to indicate your mask will show when you paint in. For this, I'm going to change the colour again, just pressing Ctrl and U in the keyboard and hue saturation appears and I'll just change this slightly. Then click OK. To quickly export as a JPEG is very, very handy when you're working on something just to see the final results or if you're sending it to the internet. How you set this up is you go into Preferences, Export, here you can change it from JPEG, PNG to GIF, quality 100% and click OK. Now it's set up for each time you use it. Two quick methods for selecting a subject. Go up to select, select subject and if it is a transparent layer you can also hold down control and click on the layer. Sometimes when working with a document in full screen, you want to zoom into certain areas, but perhaps you don't want to move about and lose some of the image. So you can simply set up what is called over scroll. If you go into edit, preferences and tools and check over scroll, click OK. You will now be able to hold down the space bar and move your image around the screen. A quick method for working with the opacity and the flow of brushes, this is painted at 100%. If I now press 4 on my keyboard, it drops to 40%. If I hold down Shift and press 4 again, the flow drops to 40%. And I can reset these back to 100% by pressing 0 and holding Shift when I'm working with the flow. If I take the Move tool and over to the layer and press 3 on the keyboard, it drops to 30%.